I got a I got a challenge for you. Tell me. Can you say decentralized autonomous organization five times fast? Decentralized autonomous organization, 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 decentralized autonomous organization. Welcome to another episode of Crypto with I mean, please subscribe, leave comments, blah, 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 blah. All right, I mean, what is a decentralized autonomous organization? Explain that to a crypto idiot. Like a decentralized myself. autonomous organization is an organization that is decentralized and autonomous. It means that it's a bunch of people that gather around the tech project, and this tech project is governed in a decentralized manner. What does that mean, decentralized? That means that it's not a centralized unit like uh, Facebook, uh, Google, uh, there is no board of director. These are basically a bunch of people contributing into this project, either with capital or with technology. And it's their, some of their contribution that makes this project possible. Usually this project has a way to govern itself that is completely decentralized. Decision making is made from a consensus of all the participants. So it's a lot of uh, small bits and pieces, either capital or technology or uh, thoughts, etc. that together they will form an outcome. But this outcome is not necessarily managed centrally. Is that a good thing? Uh, maybe things should be well, centralized. When things are decentralized, somehow they function better. Because decision making is not monopolized by either shareholders or people that are waiting just for profits or other that have other interests. Um, usually decentralization make things move in the sense of uh, productiveness, right? And of the sense of common good. That's the idea behind decentralization. Surely the powers that be uh, don't like the idea of decentralization, do they? Yeah, sure, but I mean, it's a necessary, today it's a necessary environment in which all the new technologies is woven around this. It's basically like the first uh, people did not like the fact that uh, a lot of things were open source, right? Now, if you see that most developments happen around open source environments or platform led environments, so decentralization is basically where things are going. Now, decentralized autonomous organizations, they face many challenges. And one of them is the regulatory challenge. Because they don't, they're not a partnership, they're not an association, they're not anything of that. They're basically a decentralized environment in which a bunch of people work towards the same goal. Uh, so their, 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 their challenges are usually uh, legal driven, compliance driven, and just existing, existential, they have existential issues because it's a new form of, uh, of productive uh, unit. And this productive unit uh, is not a partnership, it's not a limited company, it's not, you know, so it's now the challenge is to define it, to see how the law applies to, to it, and how personal responsibility is derived or not from be being involved in a decentralized autonomous organization. How does one go about setting up a decentralized organization? Well, it's, it's a very good question because... Thank you. Yeah, That's what I'm here for. Absolutely, because right now it's a very blurry environment. A lot of people uh, claim themselves as decentralized autonomous organization, uh, just to uh, as a legal arbitrage environment. So right now, yeah, the 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 thinkers are thinking and legislators are evaluating. Well, what makes a decentralized autonomous organization? What was the level of decentralization that is required for an autonomous organization to be considered as such? And what type of laws and regulations apply to these type of uh, to these type of uh, of organizations? But uh, fact is, uh, these are real manifestations of uh, way companies and uh, uh, not companies, but way projects are organizing themselves, especially in the decentralized finance world. Um, this is something that will stay. You will see more regulation and more legislation around it. Organizations such as Waseo do a good job of trying to define a framework by which these organizations can, can operate. And uh, yeah, and as we advance, things are going to be clearer and clearer. But today you're going to see a lot of DAOs, a lot of uh, crypto projects claim themselves as DAOs. You know, you give me a headache, I mean. I'll give a headache to myself. 
you like this video, leave a comment. Subscribe. Subscribe and uh, that's it. Say goodbye. Bye-bye.